I was excited. I wanted to share uh, their meal today. So I had a whole bunch of stuff from the store that um, came in this last Friday. Uh, anyway, about a week ago tomorrow. But um, I always feed them a bowl of stuff. It's usually the broccoli and then all the fruit. and But uh, broccoli and peas and arugula and uh, cabbage but this time they I had I got corn and Nemo loves this corn it's it's not organic but at least it is fresh it was in the stock and uh, strawberries and blueberries but anyway he's got the corn and strawberries and I love these huge dishes like this because I can spread it all out so they can see it I know it looks like a lot of food but today is a lot more than normal even though um, I do give them probably half of this every day but blueberries oh they love radishes anyone who's like I don't know how to get my birds started on vegetables these hot not hot but they're kind of spicy they both are love radishes apples and broccoli bananas oranges um, bell pepper cabbage um, I find that most of the cabbage is usually always missing out of the bowl for both of them and we had pineapple I cut up some pineapple and peas it's just so beautiful I thought I'd share it because I know a lot of bird people really appreciate um, you know appreciate seeing what, what you feed your parents but anyway us can bring this out to Nemo and Ava they're outside but anyway it was really hot today so I've had to bring them in and out several times well not just today I've been doing this the last few days I have got the the uh the lovebird aviary is done and ready for them to come in but since it's almost a hundred here oh are you hot already or are you just turned on uh, they've only been out for like 20 minutes, but it's not that bad. But the leopard aviary is done, but it's too hot. But starting this next Monday, it's supposed to be a high of like 86. So I'm going to put the lovebirds in this next week. So, and I might have to bring them back inside because they still have um, not uh, acclimated to hot weather. So they haven't dropped like their down feathers. So they may have to go in and out if we get back up to 100 again. But at least next week for like three or four days, I can get them out there for their first try. I'm really excited. But all the other birds are doing fantastic. Um, they're all great. All the pigeons are doing great. We have two baby pigeons. We'll go take a look at them here in just a second. But let's give the parrots their yum yums. Okay, so I put Ava's stuff here. She is she's rubbing her butt up against a stick behind her. So she's kind of horny and then he was over there. So she wasn't quite interested. Oh, honey, I want you to s It's not that hot out here. It's okay. Come here. Step up. Let's step out over here. Come on. Good girl. Hi. Come on. Say hello. Hello. Oh, peekaboo! I love you! How about up here? Oh, you want to come to me? Okay. Hi. Yes. Mwah. I love you. I love you. You're beautiful. Say hello, Ava. I can't hold the phone away. Yes. Hi. Kiss, kiss. I love you. I, I was, before I put her out here, I was loving on her. I wasn't touching her forbidden parts, but she's just so sensitive to any kind of loving. Yeah, hi. Step up, please. Thank you. There you go. There's Nemo. Nemo, I'm going to go take a, a look at the baby pigeons. Can you come here, please? Uh, hello, beautiful. Step up. You can go over here by your water dish. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's okay, buddy. Step up. Oh, he's looking at Ava. Ava's in a way, so good boy. So he gets really interested when Ava's in her her turned on way. So it's okay, Studley. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, Studley. Mr. Stud Muffin. Yes, you're gorgeous. Okay, let's go take a look at the baby pigeons. I'm gonna go get my shoes on first. Oh, here's one of them. This is a pure German owl. Hi, oh, sweetie. It's nice and warm, huh? It's a German owl. Mom and Dad are both German owls. Hi, honey. <laughs> they don't have any fertile eggs. Hi, Mama. Oh, my. The other one hatched. <gasps> okay. <gasps> oh, two beautiful babies. That's Flynn. Flynn. 
Oh, he's such a good daddy. Two beautiful babies. <laughs> Flynn is a, a fancy pigeon, and Flynn's partner is Roxy. And Roxy is a um, is a purebred German owl. Hello. So, uh, the only babies I'm going to let them... I want to have more roller pigeons, but that's about it. We don't need... Except for the pure purebred German owls. I hear that they are quite rare, so I might uh, let, because there are other people that would like German owls, and because they live symbiotic with humans in such a beautiful way, they can fly free and live with us, it's, uh, I don't feel so bad about it. Look at them all on top of the roof, because we don't want, uh, anyway, but, They were all just flying. <laughs> Our neighbors uh, came over and said how beautiful they thought and enjoyed watching them. It's one of them. And listening to them. I thought that was cool. <laughs> okay, well, I hope everyone's having a good Thursday. Next week we'll get the lovebirds in there when it's cooling down and Nemo found his corn. Okay, hi. Anyways, have a great Thursday.